from needtoknow.news. Georgia, three radical leftists track cops to their homes, firebomb their cars. <laughs> Gwinnett County, Georgia, three people, Alvin Joseph, Lakayla Mack, and Ibuka Chikimora, track two Georgia law enforcement officers to their homes and set their patrol vehicles on fire using Molotov cocktails last Thursday night. The driver of the suspect's vehicle, Alvin Joseph, 21, had also been arrested at a protest on May 30 after officers used a taser to subdue him, and he was released hours after his arrest. You know, that kind of suggests a different headline. Protester tasered, harassed, and kidnapped by cops seeks revenge. Now, I, I wouldn't have written either of those headlines, but certainly something in between might have been a little bit more righteous to include that these weren't just random angry people. And as you can tell, they're also very black, black Americans who justifiably see themselves as victims of police terrorism and are fighting back. And I, you know, I do not support this. I support the message. I'm grateful for the positive effects. Um, and I, I, but the only reason I don't support it is because I, I don't think it's the best way to achieve their goals and that it has unintended consequences of increasing violence and division and conflict. But you know what? Cops being afraid to be cops, quitting their jobs because they know they're not really serving, that the system is broken. They don't want to serve a broken system anymore. If you're a cop and you work for a bad department, I want you to know this story. This is how this is how much you have screwed up, American police. That now you might get followed home and have your vehicle firebomb. Could be worse. And you know these are the people who got caught. It seems like a relatively easy crime to get away with. I mean, they're not doing it in the parking lots outside of police buildings obviously they use a, when do they get the car by itself you know then and make sure that they, there's no one awake watching it yeah the way they drive your patrol car home and i mean there's so so many problems to untangle here i'm not even going to try joseph has been charged with possession of a firearm by a convicted felon interference with government property and two counts each of possession of tools for the commission of a crime, criminal trespass, possession, and manufacturing of destructive device, and first-degree arson. So, I like I said, I, I can't, I can't support this, but I can say thank you to people who did this and who are making very careful to not hurt anyone in making it difficult for police to carry on what has become the norm of police harassment and terrorism in America.